this man has been in trouble so much as a registered smex offender and still gets a slap on the wrist. I just don't understand it. So let's talk about Timothy Lester. This is literally just one of the things that I fell into. I just happened to be looking up some stuff last night and saw uh, Timothy Lester. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what he has done to get these charges, like what's going on. He was someone who was charged with internet stalking of a child and also charged with a uh, failure to register as a SMEX offender in Hot Spring County. Actually, whenever I saw him, it was because I was like prepping for the This Week in Arkansas arrest. He was booked out of Hot Spring County, like released, and it said that he had been sentenced to 10 years in Arkansas Department of Corrections for these charges. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So I looked it up to see, you know, what it said, what was going on. And this is what I found. So what I found was that Timothy Lester actually has been a registered SMEX offender in the state of Arkansas since way back in 2000, I think four it was, he was actually charged with fourth degree SA and fourth degree SA is basically a person over the age of 20 uh, having intercourse, being involved with someone that is under the age of 16. For that 2004 charge, Timothy Lester was sentenced to 36 months probation. That was in Hot Spring County. So then fast forward to 2008 in Grant County, Timothy Lester was arrested and charged with internet stalking of a child. At that point in time in Grant County, Timothy Lester was sentenced to 10 years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. In 2008, in Hot Spring County, Timothy Lester was actually charged with um, failure to register as a SMEX offender, which really didn't make a lot of sense because he was, I'm pretty sure, in jail at the time in Grant County. Either way, those charges were eventually dropped in 2014. So he was obviously out of prison by that time. So by 2018, Timothy Lester was in trouble again for failure to register. And on the affidavit for that, it said that back in uh, 2008, when he was arrested for internet stalking of a child, he actually had his uh, SMEX offender assessment. At that point in time, he came back as a level three offender. So according to, you know, online in Arkansas, a level three offender is a person who has a high likelihood of reoffending has reoffended before and likely will reoffend again. They tend to be antisocial uh, people. But at that point in time, in 2018, Timothy Lester was in trouble because he submitted an address to the Arkansas Department of Corrections to be released to. Now, the Arkansas Department of Corrections obviously didn't do their due diligence because Timothy Lester was arrested, but that address was within 2,000 feet of a school or daycare, which is in violation of the law for a level three offender. He couldn't live at that address. So they give him some time, tell him that he can't live at that address and give him, I guess, gave him a bit of time because he was told he couldn't live at that address in July and it came back up in April when he returned to the police department um, because he was supposed to do his verification of res residency and he put down the same address that they had told him that he couldn't live at months before. So that was in April of 2019. Now they gave him several more months. In August of 2019, uh, the police in Hot Spring County received a report that a registered offender was living under a bridge. They went out there to check it out and saw it's Timothy Lester. He is living under a bridge and he didn't register that he was homeless because in the state of Arkansas, when you register as a homeless SMEX offender, you actually have to come in more frequently because you don't have an address. You have to come in more frequently until you have an address. He never registered that he was homeless. He just left that address that they told him that he couldn't live at and never, you know, went back and corrected anything. So that got him in trouble again. But, but Timothy Lester wasn't held responsible for any of that because after he remedied the situation, 
Hot Spring County prosecutors dropped the charges. They dropped the charge of failing, failing to register as a smex offender. It was like a placeholder and to, to force them to register, which honestly seems like the biggest waste of money. In the last, you know, four or five years, Timothy Lester has been in trouble for cruelty to animals twice, which is aside from the point, but just like putting that out there, it almost seems like a bit of that, I don't know, antisocial behavior or whatever uh, might have been showing at that point in time, but those weren't felony charges. He was just ticketed for whatever happened with that. But then in 2024, Timothy Lester was in trouble again. It came out that two detectives were actually sent to an address that Timothy uh, had registered and they were there to tell him that he needed to go in and, you know, update his registration uh, for the, you know, Smex offender registry. So when they went out to the address that he had registered, they found that he wasn't staying at that address. He didn't have a phone number that was working at the time. His phone had been shut off. And so police were able to make contact with him. And he told police like, hey, I didn't have the money to pay my phone bill. That's why my phone got shut off. And so I haven't been able to update my address. I'm actually staying in like a RV or whatever on this property. And of course, I'm just summarizing all of this to save time. But uh, the police were like, okay, cool. You need to come in and change that. And he's like, okay, I will do that. Police did ask him while he was standing out there, like, so you're not living at that place right there, the building that he, you know, was in front of. Nah, no, I'm not living there. The owner just wanted to do some um, renovations or whatever. But the police could see into the building and see that there was a couch and there were some personal belongings in there. It looked like someone was living in there. So they called Timothy Lester, kind of like, hey, man, are you sure you're not living in there? Well, finally, he told the truth. He was actually living in that very building that he didn't have the address registered for. Police did go into that address with Timothy's permission. They found his personal belongings and also found an unregistered cell phone. So he did actually have a cell phone. It just wasn't one that the police knew about. Now, with Timothy's permission, they did look through that phone. And in that phone, they found messages where Timothy Lester had been messaging a 13-year-old. And there were messages where the 13 year old was like, Hey, I'm 13. Are you sure that's not too young for you? Timothy Lester's like, no, that's not, that's not too young for me. Also in those messages, police didn't see where Timothy Lester had sent an unsolicited D pick of himself, but there was a message where he asked the 13 year old if she received the pick that he had sent to her. And uh, she said that she had police were also able to find in his phone several D pics and also pics of himself where he had just, you know, taken them, maybe sent them out to underage girls who left them saved in his phone. He must have been so impressed by himself. So at that point in time, Timothy Lester was arrested and charged with Internet stalking of a child and failure to register as a smex offender as well as being in possession of CSAM. Fast forward a few months and he accepted a plea deal. He has been sentenced to 10 years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. whoop de freaking do 10 years. He's already had 10 years. Do you think 10 years is going to change his behavior or cause him to think before he send in D pics to 13 year old girls because he's already done that amount of time or already been sentenced to 10 years and it didn't stop him the first time. I'm just saying like, it's so frustrating to me anyway. So that's a person to watch out for, especially if you live in the Hot Spring County area for when he gets released because he'll be at it again. I am sure.